ever since, so ever since I was young, I loved, loved sugar, <laughs> loved it. And I've always ate sugar. I've consumed mass amounts of sugar my entire life where even, you know, when I was in high school and college, I, I never drank. I was never attracted to alcohol. So I would go out with my friends and they would get wasted and I'd drink Coke. And that was like my alcohol um, or, you know, it's like soda, but it's just like, I love sweets. If I drink a cup of coffee, it's like, I just dump out the simple syrup in there or everything revolves like everything sweet nonstop. I just love sweets. And a couple of years ago, I went to my chiropractor who also does like other kinds of, you know, muscle testing. And I was kind of telling him about how I felt and he was noticing a lot of inflammation in my body. And he asked me to go on this candida diet, which was essentially to reset my gut. And I was like, sure, I can do that. And I read the... <laughs> what you had to do to be on the candida diet. And one of the things that you had to completely eliminate was sugar. And in my head, I was like, I can do it. Sure. I, I think, okay. But really I could not do it because I was working so much and I was under so much pressure and stress in my life because I was taking care of so many people and doing so many things that sugar really felt like my only go-to. I was like, well, mm -hmm. but what, but what am I going to do if I don't have this ritual in the morning of drinking my tea with this sugar or drinking my coffee with the sugar? And what about that treat I have every day at 4 PM when my energy dips and I don't have it in me to keep going with work? How am I going to be productive? And so for a year, he kept telling me this for a year. I remember. <laughs> and one day I was literally sitting at his table and I just started crying because I was like, I can't do it. I just, I can't. I was like, I really want to. And it was the first time in my life where I felt like I couldn't do something because I'm a very can do it kind of person. I'm like, we'll figure it out. We'll do it. What do you need? Let's go. And I was just broken down and I I had no answers for him. I was like, I was just like, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Fast forward to me having a session with you a couple months later. And I, I distinctly remember this because it was the week of Thanksgiving. I think we spoke on a Monday or Tuesday and Thanksgiving was on a Thursday, which involves a lot of sugar that I really look forward to. Right. And, um, I was talking to you, we were working and I was asking you about looking looking at me because I was in the process of wanting to grow my business. You know, I had been coasting for a while and I really enjoyed being where I was at. And then I had this thing where I was like, you know, I want to grow my business. I really want to grow it. I want to open a store in New York. I want to do this. I want to do that. And I asked you to look at me and you're like, okay, let me look at your body. And I was like, look at my body. I was like, why do you need to look at my body if I want to grow my business? And you were like, well, um, your body is going to have to come with you if you're going to take on all this extra work. Hmm. And that was the first time where I had ever thought about my body having to come with me in that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah never before. And I was like, wait a second, what I eat determines what I'm available for. And mm. that sort of blew my mind a little bit. And the next day, I tell you the next day, I had never felt more ready. I was like, I'm cutting it out. Mm -hmm. And I definitely went through two weeks where I felt like I was coming off of crack cocaine. Like that's yes. what it felt like to, yes. to not have sugar. I was having nightmares at night. I was, it was crazy. And it I is crazy to make changes, but when you do, uh, to me, what's really exciting and thank you for sharing that story because it, it, it helps people see what the process is. Mm. You know, it's not just learn something, do something, be something. 
There is always a process and every step of the way in any process, you will meet you. Mm. The parts of you that you have managed through changing your diet and if not your diet substances, you know, some people, um, and I'm sure you know a lot of people put 100% confidence and attribute health to genetics, 100%. They just believe it's on the genes. And the, you know, I've had people say to me, for example, oh, my grandfather drank a bottle of whiskey every single day and smoked cigars and he lived to be 98. Mm -hmm. And I always think to myself, yeah, but what would he have been like if he hadn't? <laughs> right. How, how old would he have lived to? And also, what did he endure? That part. You know, like that's, that's something else. That and part. why is that the gold standard? Mm 